Alright, we have something different today. We have a triples battle, but with a bit of a twist. Instead of having six Pokemon in your team, you only have four. And this is probably the way BGC should be played. So anyway, enough of that. Let's just get to the battle. It's obviously against Penguin X, as the title would say. And uh, I lead off with a Hitmontop, Gigayusu, and Ubemu, because this thing is actually supposed to be like a sort of pseudo trick room thing in it. And all three of them work relatively well in the trick room. Yeah, I can abuse this priority with Hitmontop. Gigayusu is obviously very slow and powerful, and Ubemu is also very slow. So Penguin X has got Zapdos, Smeagol, and a Bomber Snow. I fake out the Smeagol because I know the Dark Void is coming because that's that's what Smeagol does in triples and stuff, isn't it? It just spans the Dark Void from its scarf or whatever. May not necessarily be scarf, but that is definitely the best item to have on it, even though, you know, it'll have to switch out afterwards because uh, Sleep Claws, no wait, Sleep Claws doesn't apply in triples, does it? So, Heat Waves only hits my Uber move, doesn't do that much, to be honest. I never thought it was actually that good defensively, although I suppose it's neutral in it. So Blizzard, of course, doesn't hit my Giga Yusu, who is protecting, and I get the trip room off because, yeah, survive. And the, the first time we did this, we got DC'd, and he got loads of hacks. And then the second time, absolutely no hacks whatsoever. Terrible. Him. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty funny. So now his Zapdos protects, of course, because. He's predicting I'm just going to rock slide and I Mac punch the Smeagol just to make sure. I don't know why I did that to be honest. This should have gone for the Abomber Snow. That would have been the best move. I could have killed it straight away then. That would have been much better. Because the Smeagol would have died to the rock slide anyway. So there was, that was pretty pointless. But luckily I do get the flinch hacks against the Abomber Snow. So not much difference there really. It's just this Zapdos is very annoying indeed. Well, Psycho Shock, because it, there's not much else I can do with this thing. It's not that much of a move pool. It sort of sucks, to be honest. It's just good for setting up stuff like Trick Room, Wonder Room, whatever. Maybe Simple Beam if you're into that kind of thing. But there's not much else you can really do. So now he brings in his Ropishin, which is pretty damn cool. I mean, seriously, look at that guy. He's amazing. And you will probably have seen him destroying teams before. So is a bomber snow because of the trick room wins the speed tie thing with the priority and gets the ice shell off first, doesn't do very much. And I get to finish him off with a map punch. So now I think um not sure what happens now. I think Ubermu goes first. No wait, he goes who goes first and gets the knockdown on Zapdos. I went for that because I thought maybe it would do more damage since it's like concentrated and he just survives. And I don't know why it says the Zapdos is covered in a water ring, I think that is a bad translation there. So I knew he was going to try and attack my Giga Yusu, so I moved Ubermu to the middle and let him just die to the hammer arm, although that was a crit. And well, I don't know, rubbishin has got massive attack and stuff. I'm not sure if Ubermu would have survived that without the crit. I'm not sure, I'll have to check that one out actually. Well, I don't think it will. I'm not sure. I, th I think it's got 252 HP, so you never know. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll check that one out. So, is that goes Roost up, and it goes last, of course, because of the trick room, and uh, I forgot what happens now. Yes, there's lots of hail, I know that much. And Rocket is about to die to it, I think. Yep, there we go, dead. Hit him on top. You did well. You spammed Mac Punch until everything else died. And he's also got, I think it's Fast Guard he's got on him to stop people spamming priority against you, which is pretty handy. So now, my reserve, George the Apowdon, is out now, and I have the sand stream up, and uh, yeah, so he protects, because, you know, that's the sensible thing to do when you've got a Giga Yusu potentially destroying you, and I just Earthquake, not quite predicting that, but yeah, I thought maybe he would still be knocked down and be able to be hit, but maybe not, well, it might roost as well, which also prompted that, but no. So he hammer arms my Giga Yusu, kills it off straight away, well not quite straight away, but, well actually it is, but well, obviously a one hit KO, but you know, without that, it would have, without all that preliminary damage, I would have been, I would have had sturdy and then gone for a cussed up explosion, and that would have been amazing. 
So yeah, and it wasn't deliberate me putting George right at the side there, but it did work out quite well. I just swapped him in for where Hitman Top was, but that actually worked out damn well. Because it meant I escaped the Zapdos and survived longer. So I'm just ice fanging this Roshin, thinking I've not got much else I can do here. And his Zapdos is just roosting up, and I've got nothing else I can really do here. I've only got one left. Two against one is not fair. And of course we had two reserves because we chose these four from a team of six. Penguinites had a Weavile and a Garchomp as his other things, and what he should have done was got the Weavile, gone for a fake out on the Abomasnow. No, not the Abomasnow, my <laughs> hit on top of course. And then he would have been free to spam Dark Void to hell. So yeah, and his Garchomp would have been able to abuse my sand. But he didn't think of that. And my reserves were an Abagura, the turtle, and it actually had the wrong ability, solid rock instead of sturdy, so it would have failed. And I think that was just an extra quake slider, basically, or something like that anyway. I think it might have had wide guard on it, I'm not sure. Just in case, you know, they start spamming multi hit attacks, who knows. So, anyway, at this point, here he gets to the reset move, which means everybody moves to the middle. And now it's time to just see if I can win this, which, I don't know, this thing has a much of an advantage over me because I haven't actually got Ice Fang on this, but wait, yes I have, I've just been spamming it for the last five minutes, damn it, what am I even talking about? So, anyway, before I got sidetracked I was talking about my reserves, right? So yeah, my other reserve was Marikachi, the happy looking cactus thing with water absorb, basically because otherwise rain would completely wreck this team. Of course. So I was thinking, let's have something to water absorb those surfs and set up a sunny day so that the surfs would be completely pointlessly useless. Just in case if Howdon gets killed earlier. Yeah. And yeah, that would have been quite cool. And it also has a U first, which means wherever it uses U first on goes first, of course, as the name says. Which could have been quite handy. But I never get the chance to use that. And uh, yeah, that is this game over with, because he's just won, of course, using Heat Wave, and I don't think he had Hidden Power Ice, because he had Protect instead, and he didn't get to use Thunder, because there was no rain, and I don't think it even had Thunder, it had probably just Thunderbolt, or maybe it did have Thunder, but who cares, I've been rambling on for too long, but anyway, this is pretty cool metagame you should play here, it triples with only 4 instead of 6, this is how Nintendo should have handled the VGC thing on the random thing, but no, they decided 6 would be better. So anyway, good game there, Penguin X, and maybe you'll see a few more of these up soon. So bye.